New pickup! This is what I picked up today. These are the Commoware Lotus pants. These are very, very cool pants and I really, really like them. Alright, so welcome back to another vlog. I just want to start off with showing you guys a new pair of pants I got recently. These are the Commoware Lotus pants. These were designed by Gizmo and I just really, really love them overall. They have a wider fit and the details on these are insane. They have lovely hardware on them. The buttons are actually embossed with C's along the front, which I think is a really, really cool detail. And they just look really nice with a lot of outfits. It's a double knee style pants featuring loads of pockets and some hidden pockets as well. The front is just really simple and minimal with the double knee paneling on them along with the hardware. As we move to the back of the pant, we have these really, really cool diagonal pockets, which I think are a really cool add-on where you could just put really anything in them. And it kind of adds the silhouette flowiness of the pant. And then also on the back, we have these zipper pockets. The pant uses free re zippers, which I think are good quality zippers. These are just a great looking pair of pants. And I'm very, very happy with this pickup. I can't say much more about these pants. I'm really excited for this vlog and I can't wait to get going. So let's just get right in. So we're currently on our way to a candy store, but it's not, it's not a regular candy store. It sells like boring candy. So we're gonna show you all the cool candy they have. these candies it's insane these are all like the chocolate bar peanut stuff uh, caramel arrow that kind of thing what the hell is this our starburst scented candle all these dr peppers and drinks crazy yo all pink starburst that's insane like like listen they're a good store but you gotta have prices on everything you can't just be like, don't you don't know the price, and then you charge me like four fifty for a fucking candy bar. Bulk candy large, eight eighty eight. Holy! So boom, it's a new day, and today we're going to this clothing pop up event. It's on the west end of Toronto with Drew Garments and a couple other stores and they're just doing a weekend pop-up and i just want to check out some stuff and also show you guys what they got it's gonna be super fun it's gonna be super cool got the new combo wear pants on pop up right now got this beautiful paul smith fleece fall winter and then also this hysteric glamour jacket with the fleece inside it's got this kind of purpley zipper with these gray out round very fire got these cdg bondage shorts very fire these are super clean for a pair of shorts Big fan of this and the Lumis gear. What did he say? Oh. Shirt with the off-centered buttons. Very cool. Straps. Very, very cool shirt. Might cop this one. Shout out them. They got the OG babe. And also the Shunya tee. Very clean patchwork on the bottom. Got this undercover sweater, crew neck, very clean. I'm gonna try this on. Here we have the undercover piece, gotta bend down. It's pretty clean. 
I really like it. It's really good. This might be the car. So here we got this. And the real muster. See? Got it crunched down, but the back is fire. Got the strings on the sides. Very, very cool. Look, we got the side buttoning. Very like it much. So we're at this insane pop-up event. It is his. Andrew, thank you, Noah. Andrew, no you, problem. Man. Thank you so you much, lot. you guys. Yeah. So you guys saw what I caught. I just finished up in there. Shout out Danny, super, super nice guy. Great creation of stuff. And I'm just I'm just amazed by the service and everything. Pop-up was great. Shout out everyone. Shout out uh, all the guys there. It was amazing. I'll leave their Instagrams in the video. You guys can check them out. They sell tons of cool stuff. But yeah, just amazing pickups, amazing service, amazing price. So we just got back and now I'm gonna go over more in detail and also try on the pickups I had. As you guys saw, I picked up two pieces and I'm just gonna go more into depth in them. Starting off when you get the bag, shout out to them. They gave me some crazy stickers. It, this sticker says, I went to Drew Garments and Thriftless Hall's pop-up and all I got was this bitch ass sticker. Overall, a really cool sticker for the pop-up and I actually find the graphic to be really cool. They also threw in this sticker, which is a Thriftless Hall sticker. Very, very cool graphic as well. Very nice. So that's all the stickers. Now I want to get into the pickups. First pickup I'm going to show you guys is this undercover. This is Autumn Winter 02 and this is the Day for Your Doom Future. As you guys can see, it's a really, really cool um, crew neck. It has a lot of cool details such as these Velcro patches on the shoulders and also on the left sleeve, as well as this really nice ribbing on both sides of the sweater. I got this in a medium and it just fits really nicely on me. And then obviously the graphic is not too faded. It's really, really good. Still in really good shape. It fits really well on me. Um, I got this for a very good deal. Shout out to them. Moving on to my next pickup from there. I know I slandered the name at the start. This is my best attempt at the pronunciation of the garments. This is the Anne de Mula Meester from what I know now so that hopefully I got it right this time but this is an Anne de Mille Meester um, shirt and it's really really cool because it has so many hidden details in it as you can see the obvious one with the side button up and I think it's really really cool it fits really really large on the body it hangs around the thigh area and there's so many button details on the sides there's also I don't know if you guys can see let me stand up but there's also these two strings that go on the side of it um, really really nice cuffing on the sides um, very flared and out there and the side has also these side buttons it's cut on a diagonal and then on the back I, this is one of my favorite parts of the pieces right here it has kind of an overlaying piece of fabric on top just to show that layering on the garment which I think is really really nice as well as the top collar which is also a detail it's shorter than the average collar and I think it's just a really really cool piece with a ton of details Again, I got this for a very big deal, so I'm very happy with it. As you can see, I just styled this with a pair of boots and black pants. So that's all for the pop-up event. Huge shout out to them. Very, very great, nice people. We are in Yorkville with uh, Ethan. About to meet up with Mr. Third Face and hopefully cop some capital bandanas. Oh shit. Capital bandana. Isn't it like one? Yo, show off the camera, show off the camera. Oh shit, it's actually bigger than I thought. The smiley face. Right? Yeah. I think blue has the oh. navy one. <laughs> Yo. It's an outfit. I was inspired by your outfit. It's it's, it's outfit inspiration. It's an outfit. It's a stussy jacket. The eight ball in the back. He's feeling drippy today. Very Kenny G Ma esque. That's what I went for. Yeah. Look at your forehead. Your forehead. Look, your forehead. Look the proportions are off here. <laughs> Alright, so we're in York Bell. We just took some fit pics. Now we might do a tiny bit of shopping.
kind of like these glass cements remind me of Guidi. Really nice acne piece, but the only problem I don't like with it is like it's more v-neck, but it's pretty nice. Got a ton of distressing too. Very fire. Rick and Morty, 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 Rick and